Welcome to the equipment room for Total Seminars. Now, in a structured cabling situation like what we have here, we have a pretty small network. So I have just this one little rack with some equipment on it. Now, first of all, this is a 19 inch rack and that's pretty much the standard for all equipment racks. Now, if you take a look behind me, you can actually see the blue and white cables that are the horizontal runs coming in for all the devices all over my network. Now, there are two different ways that we can look at the equipment room. Number one, you're going to have what's known as your main distribution frame or MDF. In my office, this is the main distribution frame. You can see behind me, there's all kinds of connections to the outside world, and this is where it all comes together, is right here. Now, in 10 years, when Total Seminars becomes this huge megalopolis of training, and we have a six-story building, I'll have equipment racks on every floor. And while this one will stay the main distribution frame, there'll be other equipment racks on other floors which would act as what we call intermediate distribution frames. So make sure you're comfortable with MDF and IDF. Now, there's a lot of different pieces that are on my equipment rack, so let's take a look at them starting up at the top. Okay, so starting up at the top of the equipment rack, the first thing I want you to notice is my patch panel. So the back of that patch panel has 110 punch downs and you can actually see the blue and white cables that are coming from the top and those are all terminated into the back of my patch panel. Now scrolling down here just a little bit, that is cable management folks. I don't like my patch cables draped all the way down so I push them into that little area there and it's just a convenient way to keep things a little bit neater. Now directly below that is my primary switch. This is the switch that everybody's connected to on my network. And you can tell by all the little lights, they're a little bit hard to see, but you can see them towards the left, that uh, this is a very, very busy switch. Directly below that is a router. Now this router is a developmental router, so I haven't really got it up and working right now, but you can see there's one uh, piece of ethernet cable going into one end. Later I'll have it working a little bit better. So these are the main pieces of my structured cabling system. But what I want you to notice is that they're different heights and these are called U's. So let's zoom in a little bit onto one side of the equipment rack so that we can understand what a U is. Now, keep in mind that people put all kinds of stuff into these 19 inch equipment racks. So we have to have a standardized height. This standardized height is called a U and you can actually see they're marked here very, very prettily on my equipment rack. So one U right here is an inch and three quarter. So this switch right here is a one U switch. This cable management clump right here is two U. So everything that you buy that you put into an equipment rack is going to be measured in U's so it'll fit. Everything uses the same type of screw and they fit in nicely and it allows for a nice uniform look on equipment racks. Pretty much the only thing left on my equipment rack are my servers. Total Seminars really isn't that big of a company, so we don't have racks and racks of servers like you'd see at larger companies. However, we do have a few servers here. Let me show them to you. Now, starting up at the top, I've got two 1U servers. I can tell they're 1U because they fit within the 1U marker. So there's these two guys. They're actually not even turned on right now. They're developmental. I use them when I'm playing around and experimenting. We have two servers that do most of the heavy lifting. So right here is a server. This is a 1U server. We actually call these pizza box servers because, well, they kind of look like pizza boxes. The reason they slide out like this is for maintenance. You see this with a lot of servers today. It's very, very convenient. Down here is a 5U server. You can actually see it's this 5 5U's. Five this is a big server. Now, this guy is my primary file server. He's just got tons of storage. And he's actually a desktop system. It's tilted over. Anyway, the bottom line is, is that this is, I've got tons of hard drives in here. He works really, really hard for a living. Okay, so that's basically what it boils down to in terms of my equipment rack. I've got some uh, UPSs at the bottom for power and things like that, but that's really what it's all about here. Now, do keep in mind that this is my main distribution frame, and as an MDF, it has internet connectivity. I would like to show you what I have behind you, but before I do that, I gotta head you over to the DMARC. Welcome to the DMARC for my office building. The DMARC separates that which is the property of the phone company or the cable company versus what's yours. So what we're looking at here is a bunch of equipment that's owned by phone company or cable company, whatever it might be. Now, typically the DMARC separates the 
telephone company or cable company's equipment from years. But this is a leased building, so things are a little bit different here. To help explain that, let's take a look at this cable connection right here. This right here is a, it's basically a multiplexer or a splitter that comes from the cable company. We've got a great big chunk of coax coming into the bottom of this, and this little splitter is designed to service four different customers. Now, if you're going to be doing cable, you need a cable modem. So typically, in the DMARC area, we would have a cable modem that would act as our true DMARC. But because this is a leased office, we have offices all over this building, everybody has their own piece of equipment. So we cannot end the DMARC right here. We actually have to run this cable over to our office and create a DMARC extension. Welcome back to my equipment room. Now, what we're seeing here is this big cable here on the right is the one that just uh, we saw at the DMARC. So it's coming down here in my equipment room and it's running down along here. Yeah, they shoved me in here somehow to get this shot. And it, it comes down along. It goes through some splitters because we use this for television as well as our internet. And this connector right here comes up and connects into my cable modem. So we couldn't bring my network to the D mark, so we extended the D mark to my network. And that's why this box, which is not my property, is the D mark extension. This piece of Ethernet cable right here, I own that. So this is really where the separation takes place. So that's a DMARC extension. Wow, we covered a lot of ground in this episode. There's a lot to do when it comes to equipment rooms. For the Network Plus, keep in mind that I want you to remember there's a difference between a main distribution frame and an intermediate distribution frame. That equipment racks are 19 inch, the height of a U, and also keep in mind that you need to know the difference between a DMARC and a DMARC extension. You're gonna see all this on the Network Plus.